Plan B. Ticker symbol is GLB. It's based in Kilkenny in Ireland. Pays a dividend two times per year. And the last two dividends I've received were for eight cents and 13 cents per share. So what I can see from their website is that they're based in 34 countries, but their products are sold in about 130 different countries. They have 4.2 billion euro of wholly owned assets. And they appear to be very, very widespread, global. Well, I won't dig too far into the website because you can have a look yourself when you're doing your own research. But quite popular here in Ireland, quite big. I see a lot of trucks, delivery trucks for Glombia around quite a lot. But I had no idea that they were so widespread. Anyway, so currently it is 13 euro per share for Glombia. Ticker symbol is GLB. I've ran through some of the other bits. It's in the food processing industry of the consumer non-cyclical sector. So it's an Ireland-based nutrition company that operates through three divisions, which are Glombia Performance Nutrition, Glombia Nutritionals, and Joint Ventures. The Glombia Performance Nutrition division has a portfolio of brands in sports and lifestyle nutrition. Its brand portfolio encompasses performance and lifestyle nutrition, as well as weight management, its brands include Optimum Nutrition, Slim Fast, BSN, Isopure, Body and Fit, Nutrimino, Amazing Grass, and Think. The Glombia Nutritionals Division is a science led producer of dairy and non dairy solutions, which include cheese, nutritional and functional nutrition solutions, and flavor solutions. This division's nutritional solutions portion delivers protein, plant-based, bioactive, premix, flavor, bakery, and functionally optimized nutrients, as well as edible film and aseptic processing solutions. And the division's U.S. cheese portion is a producer of American-style cheddar cheese. So as of now, they have about 8,000 employees working for them. The current market cap is 3.28 billion euro. The PE ratio is 17.19. They have a revenue of 4.2 billion euro, an earnings per share of 70 cents, and a reasonable dividend of 2.53%. So over the last year, they have a profit margin of 4%, which is not great, but at least it's not negative. And over the last quarter, it's about 6.5%. Their annual debt to assets ratio is 52%, which is quite good. And over the last quarter is 51%, which is also quite good. And their annual cash flow from operating is 255.5 million euro. From investing is negative about 150 million euro. And from financing is negative 118 million euro. And it does have a very interesting long-term graph really unusual. So it was founded in 1997, I think. Where are we? Yeah, I think it was, yeah, 1997, sorry. But here, 2004, 2005, it went from 218 euro down to about two euro or three euro. And that looks to be in the space of two weeks, vertical drop. Now, I can't really find out what exactly happened. I've done a little bit of digging and I can't locate exactly what the explanation is. But in my own experience, when a stock drops like perfectly vertically like that, it's often what's called a stock split, which is when, say, if you have one share of this company, you then, they will split the stock, which you they, they kind of decide how much that they're going to split it by, so every one you have could turn into 5 or turn into 10, or this looks like it turned into 100, because it went from, what, roughly uh, 220 euro down to 3, so oh, it could have been 80 to 1 or 70 to 1. Or, it's up to them. They do happen quite often, but it is up to the company when they do it. And they can also do the opposite. They can do what's called a reverse stock split, so they could turn every 100 shares you have into 10. Or it could have been a demerger where they basically decide that 
one of the brands or one of the kind of subsidi subsidiaries of them would be more profitable if it went out on its own. So instead of Glanbia having, let's say it was a company called, I don't know, Stock, they decide that this stock company would be better on its own and they cut ties with it essentially. And if you hold the Glanbia stock, when that happens, they'll often give you shares of the new company that has spun off. So it's very difficult to see because there's such a huge range of numbers in this graph, it's difficult to kind of get a good gauge of what it's been doing since. So if we look at the five year, reasonable enough. Now it's not nothing fantastic. But well, their debt seems to be good, and they're, maybe it's just in the profits. The profits are dragging them down because they're positive, but just barely positive. So it has a 52 week high of 15 euro and 50 cents, and a 52 week low of about 10 euro. It's 9 euro and 78 cents. And everything I can find on the dividends, it doesn't really look. I wouldn't call it the most promising dividend stock ever by any means and it only pays twice a year so it wouldn't be one of my stocks that I'm hugely confident in but I have no problem holding it for the long run because my position will never be absolutely huge in it and if anybody does know themselves what happened in 2005 or if they can find anything I'd be very interested to know I'd appreciate it if you could let me know so to sum up Glambia as a dividend stock, I would say it's mediocre. Now the debt is decent, about 50%, which is a lot lower than a lot of other companies. Now, if you have a look at someone like McDonald's, they have massive debt, and you wouldn't expect it. So 50% is actually quite good. 8,000 employees is a, is a large company. Now and if you're obviously interested in investing in Ireland or something slightly different, that may appeal to you. But generally... Companies in the food processing industry and a couple of other industries, they tend to be able to survive the bad times because they can just increase their prices. You know, it's not a product where people say, I need to cut down on my spending or I've lost my job, so I'm going to stop eating. You know, it doesn't quite work like that. Now, it is one of those industries that they tend to pull through. It's more down to the individual company itself if they make the right business decisions when the shit hits the fan. They tend to do well. But anyway, it's your own decision to make as always. And if you have any opinion on Glombia or if you know anything about what happened in 2005, I'd appreciate it if you let me know. And I hope that you found this useful.